All right, so today's project is going to be a little bit different than the usual stuff on this channel. Um, what I want to do is I have a nice big pergola out back, and I want to build a swing for it for my three-year-old. And I was looking at those big rings, or like 40 to 48 inch rings, and they got the nice uh, rope netting and stuff. Um, not Nothing crazy. I, I'm literally going to hang it just high enough off the ground where as it swings, it doesn't make contact with the ground, but not so high that she could like fall off of it and bust her head on the edge of the concrete. So, um, trying to figure out dimensions now. I think we're going to go in the, uh, well, let's measure this thing real quick. So I already forgot what, the, what I was going to go with. This is a big old sheet of blaze orange or safety orange, uh, neon orange, Cordura. Uh, so it's a really heavy duty fabric. It's not ripstop, but it doesn't need to be for this project. Uh, and what the plan is, is I ran up to Lowe's and I got some two inch ABS black pipe uh, and then four elbows. So each piece of that black pipe was five bucks and the elbows were two. I have a ton of this downstairs. My plan is to cut a square out of this with the heat gun. And then uh, we're going to take and circular cut the edges to avoid the 90 degree elbows in the pipe. And then we'll essentially just roll this back down on itself and sew it uh, on three sides. The four side, uh, it's either going to require um, some Velcro for closure or probably a two person job, but I could maybe get it into the sewing machine once the rest of this is assembled. Put that side on, fold it over, and then sew it in. So I haven't decided which direction we're going with that yet, but uh, for now, let's get this thing drawn out so we can get it cut. And the reason you would cut it with a hot knife is because if you don't, as you can see here, it'll fray. And we don't really want that. It doesn't have to last that long, but at least longer than fraying, and that fraying doesn't look very nice. So that's why I like this hot knife. All right, obviously we can't use this on the floor without our, well, without my wife killing me. You know, you do what your pay grade can handle. Seventy-three and a quarter. Seventy-three and a quarter. Thirty-five. Seventy-three and a quarter. All right, let's get this uh, knife plugged in and start doing some cutting.
Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Just gotta do a different knot. One that's more adjustable. Daddy, what's this? <laughs> I can climb on this ladder. Look. Yeah. And then I can get off of it. And then, kid, Daddy, are you ready? to go up higher. Just for it. <laughs> Alright, so we stitched these three sides. Uh, it was just barely big enough to fit this tube in here, so I would do that differently um, the next time. On this side, I decided just to put some screws in here. Uh, wrap it around. Um, that may change in the future. We'll have to see how that holds up. But, uh, you know, the rest of these three sides are holding most of the weight, so it's not too bad. Um, down here, that's that's it. Just made a loop and then went around and ran it through itself. At the top here, those are taut line hitches. So you can take and uh, adjust them up and down as the ropes stretch, which they've already stretched quite a bit because overall fun little project kid loves it so as long as she doesn't eat that concrete well that's it for this one thanks for following